do you let him lead or do you sit up there and challenge him every chance you get? He may not tell you he's unhappy because most men are not going to say shit like that. They just not because you've made an environment to where they can't even talk to you. So they can't tell you they not happy. So now that black man want peace. Do you know how to give him peace? Has anybody ever taught you? We all see this meme going around. Be a man's peace. Be his peace. Be his peace. Y'all skip right on over that. If he wasn't creating so much hell, I could be in peace. Not taking responsibility, not taking accountability. You want to tell black men what you want. But it's not reciprocal. It's not, it's not based in reciprocity. And that's what I'm telling you. You don't know how to treat him. I can tell you right now, he want peace, just like I said. And we get caught up in food and eating, and he needs somebody to cook for him. Well, yeah, you need to be nurturing. That's what that means. We ain't talking about you cooking these old fat nasty pork chops and all this type of shit that's gonna kill him no we're not talking about that we're talking about something deeper than cooking how do you nurture him now he done went out there and worked hard in a white supremacist society all day long came back home without getting shot and killed he made it back home how do you make that a soft place for him to fall that's what we're supposed to do as women with our feminine grace we're supposed to make a soft place for our men to fall honey you cannot expect these black men to be your hero, to come swoop down and save you when you battling with him. You his enemy. You his enemy. Like he got to fuss and argue with you about everything. We can't even get you to attract good black men because you can't even accept the fact that what you look like has a lot to do with your level of attraction, your sexual market value. They ain't attracted to that. Somebody lied to you, and I can tell you right now that was your pastor. Over 50% of the single black women population, they sing with, but they all churched up. See the correlation between that. White Jesus is your husband. And if that's the case, then how you treat him? You don't have to do shit for Jesus. Think about it. You don't have to do a goddamn thing. Jesus accepts you just the way you are. You don't have to lose weight. You don't have to fix your attitude. You don't have to fix your energy. You can just blame it on Jesus. I'm married to Jesus. Waiting on my man. I'm just focused on God. No, you're not willing to admit what it is that you're doing that's messing up your opportunities for meeting a good black man. Most of you are on that church stuff shit. You look like Tamala man. No, but see, Jesus will accept that. So you don't even know how, what men like. The feminine grace part, we're lost on that, ladies. All this argument, combative energy, not letting a man lead. No, ma'am. Y'all didn't know not to get into the nerds. Y'all didn't know the nerds, the black nerds, the brilliant guys was the ones to check for. Maybe y'all went to a fucked up public school or something like that and didn't get education early on. and You didn't value education and being intellectual. But for those of you that are late to the game, and you past 30 or 20, and you've been falling for the bad boys, and a part of your narrative is, I keep choosing the bad ones, that probably means you're not that intellectual. Now, that don't mean that you're not a good person, you're not a good woman, but that definitely speaks to the caliber of man that you're going to be able to attract. You can't tell me that's not easy. Well, it's going to be hard as shit for women that have been raised by these bitter, angry, resentful single mothers. If they have a group of girlfriends that are bitter, angry, and single, and resentful toward the black man, it's not going to work. That's why your whole spirit is not even calibrated for kings right now. Your spirit is only calibrated for fuckboys right now because that's what the energy you're leading with. Focus on that, what you don't want, the type of men you don't like. Ooh, when men do that, oh, girl, it's hard out here. Those type of thoughts are in your psyche. That becomes who you are. So as the within, so the without. That's the experience you...